Hello and welcome to Non Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your Monday Night Raw 1993 17th of May. <laughs> 17th of May 1993, I should have said. Before we get into today's show, guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. I've got it loaded up just now. Um, we're going to skip to the first match, which is Smoking Guns versus Glenn Roof and Tony Vajeda. Vajeda? Yes, at 4 minutes 12, 4 minutes... I'm still waiting for it to load up, guys. Network's really slow just now. I think it's actually my internet, to be honest with you. But, um... So we're at 4 minutes 18 just now. Guys, sorry, I need to come out of this and go back in. I think it's the network, to be honest with you. Because, see, when I'm watching it... Sometimes it works perfectly fine. Other times it doesn't. And we're waiting for an ad to run now. They literally... I feel like it, it puts it on it, right? And it makes you come watch an ad to watch it and then it makes you come out to watch an ad again. Just don't know why they do that, but we're at 4 minutes 23, 4 minutes 24, 4 minutes 25, 4 minutes 26. Billy Gunn, looking young. <laughs> Billy Gunn, looking young. We can stick He looks so weird, like his, the Billy Gunn looks so weird, it's like, like cause I'm so used to him as Mr. Ass. That other guy looks terrible. The blonde guy with a singlet thing on. Two stripey singlet looking guys, it looks terrible. <laughs> I feel like I was like shouting at the audience and then they, they've obviously been a segment to tag in and I'll just probably <laughs> Like I say in tomorrow's show guys, <laughs> I'm filming these at the same time but I've done WCW first um, I've not been feeling great so the, I'm getting these done on Friday so I can take Sunday off completely after this, I'm going to go work out, and um, then just going to chill out the rest of the night. Tomorrow, I've got a little half day, I've got a couple of recordings, um, I've got a podcast that I'm on, somebody's podcast, and then I've got a few bits and bobs to do here and there, but then I'm taking the rest of the day off, so I'm going to try and see if I can get my mind a little bit better over the next couple of days. Leg drop to the arm seen this guy one time wrestle and he done a DDT to the foot and the guy he done it to sold it and I seen him a few times I can't even remember who what they were called and he used to do like a DDT to the foot and he would do like a fucking leg drop to the arm stuff like that and it used to be hilarious to see but 
Was it, I, I really can't remember. It was like independent show here in Scotland. I think it could have actually been somewhere in Europe. Who knows? There we go. Guns obviously got the win. <clears throat> then we're going to jump to Razor Ramon versus the kid. The kind of start of their kind of feud. Um, so it's 1608, 1609, 1610. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I, I love this kind of start. The kind of little food that they had, I loved it. Yeah, he's an EA. It's one of those dodgy, um, those dodgy kind of emails, not no emails, uh, comments on the YouTube show that I've put up the Edge top ten. Right, come and check out good girls here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking annoying. Just going to have myself this kind of weekend is after I finish work I'm just going to have like a nice chill movie relaxing time. Do you know what I mean? Just going to chill out. Here we go. I think this is an upset but it's just coming up isn't it? Mm, I think this could be it. <clears throat> Flip one, two, three. The kid gets a win. Razor Ramon is raging. <laughs> I love this bit. That was brilliant. And the way Razor sold it was brilliant as well. Um, so we're going to jump over to 20 minutes 19. Um, the green bikini woman. <laughs> 20 minutes 9, 20, min 20 minutes 27, 20 minutes 28, 20 minutes 29, 20 minutes 30. Um, Scott Taylor versus Tatanka. We've got a couple of matches after that. Scott Taylor versus Tatanka. Last week's one f fucking threw me. See, you know, they were doing that lumberjack match, right? And they done the lump. Oh, Scott Taylor looks terrible. <laughs> they were doing that lumberjack match, and it was like they had lumberjack t shirts on, like the fucking checkered things. And I was like, why are they all wearing the same t shirts on the outside? Clicked in me. It's fucking lumberjack match. <laughs> yeah, we all know that I'm not the smartest person, you know what I mean? Like.
I'm not even. This Tatanka's going to win this. I'm not going to give Scott Taylor the win. But then obviously, if you were sitting watching this on Monday Night Raw and you saw the one, two, three kid pick up the the win on Scott Razor Ramon, Scott Hall, you'd be like, oh shit, anybody could win. It's how unpredictability of the Mars. Do you know what I mean? But then now, like as well, if they try to do that, you know the fucking people on fuck, everywhere, Twitter and Facebook and stuff would be all t- Facebook. Twitter would be and I put their panties in a twist because somebody other than the main guys picked up the win. For the the niche fans it would be like, oh this, but then somebody would always have a problem with it and so I, I bet you if you looked at back at nineties wrestling forms, you would see people like this like, Oh my god, he shouldn't have picked up the win, do you know what I mean? Tatanka always, like, see the Legends night that was just there? Like, he poor turned up, like, gimmick up, do you know what I mean? He was poor gimmick to everybody else, just had, like, suits on and shit. <laughs> I think it's just pretty much running around just like slapping this 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 kid <laughs> like he's literally just running around just slapping this kid the kid must just be like god he just hurry up and pin me <laughs> got hiccups Tanker got the win as we expected. Right, so we're going to jump over to Kamala versus Yokozuna. Two big names against each other, and then we've got HBK and Marty Jannetty for the Intercontinental title. So this should be pretty cool. We're at um, 29 43, 29 44, 29 45, 29 46, 29 47 for Kamala versus Yokozuna. <laughs> I wonder if you could get away with something like Yokozuna, like, in this day and age. Like, obviously he was, like, the kind of Polynesian stuff. I know it's, they've got links to you know, Japanese cultures and shit like that, but, like, obviously they're, they're completely different. But, like, do you think you would get away with that as well? I don't know. I really don't.
two big guys <laughs> just the flubber running at each other. Yoko is a, a, a big guy that I enjoyed. I enjoyed his work with Undertaker. Now the casket match thing and then they had to get the, the bigger casket. <laughs> I, enjoyed, I enjoyed that kind of stuff. I, I, I think the best matches but I do enjoy stuff with Undertaker. Pretty certain this is going to be the finish of this match. If you haven't seen the Yoko, is it the Crawl? The, the documentary they have on the network, go watch it, it is amazing. Yeah, Yoko got the win, as we all expected. We didn't think anybody else was going to get it. So we're getting 36 21, 36 22, 36 23 for Marginetti versus HBK Intercontinental Championship. Fucking Michael starts in the ring, and you've got he is the Intercontinental Champion and then I think Gennetti's coming out. If you want to see weird stuff guys, go to Marta Gennetti's Twitter just now. He fucking posts a load of shit all the time. It's pretty funny to watch but still he posts a load of shit. <laughs> You know those emails that you get when people are just emailing you? It's like my work stuff I put up that I'm out of office. And when people are reading that I'm out of office, they're texting me or they're, they're WhatsApping me to say, are you out of office? Says it on my fucking email. <laughs> Do you think that out of office email means... Marty Jannetty just... It's so annoying as well because like Marty Jannetty looks and moves just like Shawn Michaels obviously was a tag team for so long. But like you couldn't have had both of them in the, like the, the top for age. Like you couldn't have both of them being the top. Obviously Shawn Michaels people wanted more but like you couldn't have both of them being the top because they're just Look and act too similar.
It's a pretty good match to be honest with you. See, the other day I was watching, um, oh, what was I watching? Oh, I've totally forgot about it because I was going, I was going to make a video on it, but it was like just a random show that I was watching. Clash of the Champions 1990, because I was watching it because I had a podcast and we were talking about it, so I was sitting enjoying it, right? And I'm like, would it be cool for me to do like just random shows and do like reviews on it? But I'm kind of thinking, like, the way I'm doing it just now is okay. But then I'm also thinking I might do, like, a wee mystery booker. Like, how would I book Monday Night Raw going into Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania or whatever? How would I book it? I was thinking about doing something like that, but I'll see what happens. I'm not giving myself too much to worry about or stress about at the minute. Just try to take it easy. There's Michael's walking out. He's had enough. <laughs> And Mr. Perfect suit to tell him to get back in the goddamn ring, can't. And I've gone to break because Mr. Perfect's just kind of standing there telling him to get your ass back in that ring, vagina. But he's back in, so it's alright. <laughs> Can stop my terrible impressions. <laughs> this is me quiet, by the way, guys. See, being able to sit and do these watch alongs, this is quietness. This is like my downtime that I normally have on a Friday, kind of afternoon, morning, depending on kids and business and work and stuff I normally always have normally like a, an hour and a half two hour break this is when I do this this is quiet even sending emails getting emails making phone calls it's still quiet this is me being quiet which I know defeats the purpose of actual downtime but this weekend my partner said she's taking my phone off me and stuff like that so said I can have access to Twitter and shit at night but I've just to chill out and relax Forced relaxation. <laughs> Be sitting good. Why do I relax? Let me what? Let me send an email. <laughs> I'm one of those people. Now those people you get the like when you see and they're like, they just they'll just do like they just won't stop working until you tell them to stop working. I'm just one of those people. Like if you if I had a job right. Oh, I do have a job, but I mean, like, if I had, like, a construction job, right? And it was like, right, you're going to be working from, like, nine till five. Like, unless somebody told me to take a break, unless I needed the toilet or something, I wouldn't go to a break. I would just, i just work nine till five. I have a weird way of... It's actually been a really fun match.
Do you know, he almost got the win. Do any of you guys suffer from the, you get an extremely cold hand? Like, right now my hand is like, if I was to touch somebody with this, they would scream. It's just extremely cold. I, I don't, sorry, I don't know why I was playing my beard, but I don't know why. It just gets really, really cold. I know it's like blood circulation, obviously. It's cold in Scotland and stuff like that, but. Ah, oh, Michael's kicked out again. Fucking hell, how many times is he going to need to kick out here? Michael's jumps over. Chain roll up. One, two. Michael's grabs the tights. One, two. Oh, Marty Jeanette got out. Sweet chin music. Matty Giannetti got the win. It's a surprise, I honestly thought he would have gave it to Michaels. That was pretty cool. Right guys, so next week's one we've got Doink versus Mr. Perfect, King of the Ring qualifier. Um, Money Inc. versus Mike Bell and Tony DeVito. Crush versus Bobby Who. Bobby Who. And then Bobby Who. <laughs> uh, Razor Ramon has an offer. Adam Bomb versus Phil Apollo. Doesn't sound like it's a great one, but we'll be here doing the watch along. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you here tomorrow. See you later.